The whole purpose of birth control pills are contraception. It is a synthetic estrogen, ethanol estradiol, and as sometimes a always a progestin, but either levonorgestrel, norethindrone acetate, drospirinone, some kind of progestin. The whole purpose is to send a feedback back to the brain saying, we do not need you to stimulate the ovary to produce an egg because we have enough estrogen. So the FSH is low. Now, how does that regulate your periods? Well, think of it this way. If my son, I have a son in college, if I give him my credit card and I say, here, use this for your food, and then all of a sudden I look at the bill and he's buying pizza for the whole dorm, I'm going to take back that credit card and say, here is $100. Make it last the whole month, right? So I'm going to put him on a budget. So what the birth control bill actually does is shut your ovary down, superimpose it with synthetic hormones, and when there's that with that weak pill free week, it's a withdrawal of the progestin. So what ends up happening is your body bleeds. You don't have an actual period. You have a withdrawal bleed. So how does that regulate your hormones? Well, it shuts your ovary down. If your estrogen is crazy high and you have inflammation and you don't have enough progesterone, you're having heavy periods, it will work in that instance. The progestin will thin the lining. It will shut the estrogen down, but there is an increased risk of depression in teens who take oral contraceptives, and one study, not a randomized study, showed an increased risk of cervical cancer and breast cancer, and the cervical cancer was irrespective of HPV status. So there are risks with it. It's good for contraception. So my desire is if you need birth control, take that if you want to. If you want cycle control, get to the root cause, because once you stop the birth control pill, you're still going to have the problem. It is not going to solve it. It's only going to put a band-aid on it.